Today, I'm going to beat 100% of Call of Duty Black Ops 6. To pull this off, I'm going to have to dive into all three modes. That's campaign on veteran, multiplayer to get my ass beat while hopefully winning 25 matches and taking out what felt like 200 UAVs with a rocket launcher. And last, but certainly not least, zombies, which was by far the best and worst part of this 100% journey. So join me as I blast my way through Black Ops 6, earning all 44 of its trophies. The journey begins like most, the campaign. Here's the lowdown. The game takes place in 1991. Frank Woods is tasked with forming a team of agents, which includes me, so obviously it's going to be one hell of a team. My objective? Take down something called Pantheon. What is Pantheon? No idea, but I'm sure we're going to find out. Straight on veteran difficulty. Kuwait, 1991. In mission one, Bishop takes Rook. I'm tasked with finding someone and bringing them in alive. Let's do this. Is that an enemy over there? Yep. All right, well, there's my first kill. All right, I got to remember I'm on vet, so. Got to be careful, because we're probably going to die super quick. All right, well, I'll follow the usual strategy that, oh my Lord, that almost killed me. Right, well, what I was going to say is I'll follow my usual strategy for veteran Call of Duty games, which is just basically run cover to cover, taking your time. Open door. Let me... Oh, calm down, fella. All right, let's get this guy where he needs to go. All right, so the guy we picked up seems like he's going to help us. Equipment wheel. So we hold up for the wheel. We've got grenades. Oh, we've got an RCXD. Interesting. Deploy. Can I use it just to scout? Do I have to blow them up? Jesus, this, this thing is fast. How do I detonate? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, challenge complete. Kill three enemies with an RCXD and Bishop takes Rook. All right, let's get back to work. Oh, I need cover. Oh, God. I'm getting PTSD. Anytime I'm playing a Call of Duty game, I'm veteran. And I hear a grenade. I, oh, I'm always worried. Brings back uh, World at War memories. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, that's my first death. They kill you so quick. Jesus, look at that. They absolutely beam you. But yeah, I'm best, like I said before, like if I get shot even once, I'm, I'm best just basically wait. That guy literally shot me before I even properly stepped around the bloody corner. All right, we got him this time. And we got... Oh, my God. Just firing rockets at me now. We'll go for a little slide. Good. He doesn't look good. Everyone all right? It's because we smacked him in the face with a gun earlier. He's got a concussion. Oh, what the hell? Bro, I just spent the last 15 minutes bringing the guy over and then you just one-tap him in the dome? Oh, what's going on now? Oh, bloody hell. Now we got a chopper chasing us. You love to see it. Hey, you got the yeah, I was just about to say, if you got a rocket... I'll take care of this. Oh, he's got flares. Do you mean what am I waiting for? It's got flares. Hold your freaking horses. Oh, Jesus. There we go. We got it. Ooh, my first trophy. Unexpected move. With only two deaths on the board and mission one in the bag, we all arrived at our new base of operations. Moments later, I decided to see how much my teammates cared about my safety. Do you reckon if I stand behind it, it'll run me over? Oh my god, it actually did. <laughs> I thought it would just be like, yo, can you move out of the way, please? But nope, it just, it just, just runs you over. Yeah, not at all. Anyway, I explored the safe house, found a UV light, some footprints, some weird symbols on the piano and a safe, but had no idea what to do with any of it. Talking to Woods, he tells me to keep my eyes open for money while out on missions. Why? Well, with the money, I can get three new areas installed at the safe house. The training area, gear station, and a weapons bench, each allowing me to buy even more upgrades. More health, faster reloads, lower recoil. You get the idea. Right, let's head into mission two blood feud where i need to find some dudes living it up on a yacht and if i play it right 
I might even be able to unlock the trophy Covert Agent for reaching a meeting without breaking stealth. Well, right, here we go. We gotta get to the bell tower. She said we can go quiet, so let's see if we can stay in in stealth. Boom. Silent. Headshot. Ooh, we even got a lock picking minigame. Easy enough. So another one down. Oof, you almost caught me. Oh jeez, there's loads of them in that courtyard thing there. Oh, hello. Should I try my throwing knife? Oof, cheeky. Let's take a backup weapon just in case things go sideways. No, oh, we're going through window. Get wrecked, mate. Pick up body. Oh, I can move the bodies. Hide bodies to prevent their discovery. I'm play, playing Hitman now. Alright, here we go. Another lockpick done. We're going up. Ooh, she's hit a rifle up here. Ooh, look at that beauty. Sniper rifle. Is it suppressed? It's not suppressed. Right, I'm on the roof. There's the yacht. If I shoot the sniper though, everyone's going to be alerted because it's not suppressed. There he is. Do we have bullet drop? I have no idea, but we're going to find out. Oh, right in the dome. You are a good shot. Thank you. I do try. All right, they're all buggering off. Back to the payphone. Okay. Look at that. Sneaky. Ooh, a bit of money as well. $60. I'll take it. We don't want the police to find the van. I feel like the sniper should have had a suppressor on it. I wanted to keep it all stealth. Damn, he's got some good eyes to be able to see me all the way over here. Hit behind this. There she is. Alright, so we're heading into the guild's meeting thing. Right, here we are. Night night, mate. Thanks for opening the door for me, though. We can drink after. I'm just going to throw a knife, everyone. Who are you meeting with? Can't ever trust those guys. Man was dead and still talking. Get to the empty chamber. Trip the alarm. Ooh, I'll be $120. Don't mind if I do. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of people in here. Oh, I'm just going to sneak. Ooh, I got a trophy. Covert agent. In Blood Feud, reached the guild meeting without ever breaking stealth. Oh, sweet. I guess sniping that guy didn't count. Sev just came in clutch. Play along. All right, play along, right? We're gonna pretend she's security and she's taking us where we need to to go to the meeting. Wait for the signal. Okay. How you doing, fellas? Nice meeting you got going on here. Keys are on the right. Kind of looks like Agent Forty Seven, to be honest. Oh damn! She just got wrecked. I guess that's the signal. <laughs> Push. Push. Oh, that didn't go well. Right, try number two. I have to be quicker. Do we do it? I got him. Cool. Alright, well, I guess stealth's out the window. Alright, I'm on my way. Lead the way, I'm right behind you. Oh, he's got a health bar. Oh, he's got, like, armor. Right, there he is. We just gotta kill him now. Oh, God. Let's throw some grenades at him. Have some grenades, mate. Did we get him? There he is. Jesus, that guy's a tank. Oh my god, I literally step out for a split second and he beams me. Trying to stun him. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, it's the Agent 47 looking geezer. Alright, there we go, he's done. Thank you. Alright, we got another target. Is this him? Oh my Jesus. Drive by. Alright, I got him. There we go, that's how you do it. I believe he's uh he's dead. Yep, it looks pretty crispy to me. Man's well done. Oh, there we go. Talent acquisition. That's mission two complete. Let's begin mission number three. Most wanted. Here we are, enter the gala. We've come here for a retinal scanner or something. Or at least to scan an eye. So we can bypass a retinal scanner. 
Looks like we can just go straight in. So, happy days. Alright, search area. Right, so we're looking for a fellow with glasses. Oh, Grisham. That's who we were looking for. I need to get a picture of him. Alright, he's gone in there. I need to follow him. There's a bunch of guards. Can I take them out? Silent takedown? Yeah, let's do that. Night, night, fella. Hack the computer. Each of the numbers in the obscure code word corresponds to a letter in the cipher key. Enter the correct word or words to crack the code and gain access to the system. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, I think I get it. So, code word is 349, so I want what? M, C, K, E, 005. So, N, N, A. Sweet, system cracked. Gonna take this fella out. Oh shit, he's coming in. Right, there we go, we got him. That's better as well, taking him out in here. And no one will see him. Let's continue towards this uh, Grisham fella. Can't see shit, man. I need a, I need a torch. All right, we're gonna ease drop on him. Eliminate. Take down. There we go. Sorry, Grisham. Get out of here, mate. I'll take that. Thank you very much. All right, we translated it to Diner Kitchen in five minutes. All right, let's put this guy to sleep as well. Apparently, some new people have showed up or something. So I gotta be extra careful. Is he gonna come in? If he comes in, I'll take him out. There we go. Ooh, trophy as well. Party's over. In Most Wanted, perform five takedowns on guards in the gala without being spotted. Signal weak. What's that for? Not sure what this signal's for. We can get close to it though. Tune radio. So we need to make it like that and then we need to make it pretty tall there we go 1774 what does that mean oh is it for this 1774 oh cool we open the safe where did we oh we got a thousand money from that okay so we definitely want to keep our eyes open for the signals get the code and then we get a thousand money which is uh quite a lot i'd right, say that this guy down is in a really bad spot though so Ooh, another trophy. Close combat specialist performed 10 takedowns in campaign. All right, we're at the backstage area. Looks like this is where we need to be as well. Oh, hello, fellas. You're not Christian. I am not Christian. You're right. Oh, well, the guy's going to chop my fingers off. Boys, it's all yours. Oh, hell no, fellas. Not on my watch. Have a pan to the face, bro. You can bugger off as well. Boom. Crispy. Damn, my guy's not messing around. Take a picture. Boom. There we go. Alright, we got the retinal scanner. That's what we came for. Alright, we need to get to the roof. Alright, so he said there's some cops up here, but they're just like doing the job so they aren't really involved, so we can't kill them. Alright, so I'm guessing we can't even take these geezers down. We just gotta like sneak past completely. There's a lot of them up here. Alright, I'll sneak underneath. Uh oh. Can I just run at him and knock him out? Oh. Hey, it's back up. Nice. There we go. Thank you. We're geared up. Got myself a suppressed weapon. We got the scanner. Hopefully this works. Sweet. Success. We're in. Oh, seems like someone else got in as well. Right, if we can remain in stealth, then that'd be perfect. Oh, all right then. I felt like I did that pretty nicely, but I guess not. Oh, Jesus. Oh, at least we get another chance to uh, go silent. I'm just gonna crawl. Right, I think we're all right. We just need to get through there. I think. We've got a keypad that's locked. I can use the light to see for the fingerprints. They press two, five, six, and zero. So two, 
five, six, zero. That's not right. Oh, so he didn't even press two, but it is five, six, and zero. Oh, there's two zeros. I can see two like prints on that. So let's try zero, zero, five, six. Okay, so zero is right and six is right. So it's five, zero, zero, six. Cool, we're in. Take those guys out. There's Adler. Nice shot. Oh, they're coming for me. Right, we just gotta get out of here now. Oh, what the hell is this? It's freaking juggernaut. Um, alright. Let's get out of the way of that guy. Holy cow. Have I got any grenades? No grenades. I got some C4 though. Where is he? There he is. Detonate. Boom. That looked like it did basically nothing. Where is it? The big meathead. There he is. Whoa! He just freaking melted me. Where'd I kill him? Oh wow, I just got him with a C4. And take his minigun. Oh, is that an RC car? Jeez, they're sending RC cars after us. A lot of RC cars. You could help me out at any time, fellas. You could, um, you know, shoot them. How many is it sending after me? Good one, Adler. Just stand in front of me as I'm using a bloody Gatling gun. Alright, the dude with the RC cars is done. Oh my god, I just popped my thumb through his eye. Oh, I didn't... S I wasn't ready for that last guy. Well, I'll see you all the way down there. Jesus, what the hell just shot me? Can't get out. Yo, just jump on these bikes, mate. What? Just you jump on these. The yeah, yeah, there you go. You didn't make it out. Uh, where's mine? Up. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. There's no way that just worked. Here we go. Jesus, I need somewhat more than a bloody pistol to do that. How does expect me to do that with a pistol? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? And I gotta watch this little cutscene every time. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Who am I supposed to be shooting? I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what's killing me, bro. Oh, this is so lame. I literally can't tell where I'm getting shot from. I'm shooting the vehicle in front of me and it's just... Okay, I got it. I don't know what I did different, but we made it. Seems like you'd have to reload either seat. You just spam fire. Oh, we're shooting at my teammate there. <laughs> Oops. Come on, Adler, move your ass. There we go. Finally. And we got ourselves another trophy. Breaking news. Right, well, now we're back at the safe house. I should be able to afford the training area and the gear station. Yep, we've got plenty of money. We can increase our health by 15%. We'll do that. And then we can do the next upgrade of it as well for 25% increase in health. And then we might buy that one next. Survivor, start regenerating health more quickly when damaged. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to buy all of the uh, the training area stuff. What have we got? Mission 4, Hunting Season. Here we go. Looks like we need to destroy some launchers. Oh, hello. Coming through. Oh, there goes another missile. Oh, I thought we were going to go silent for a second there. 
Really? Enemy literally just ran past like three or four of my teammates just to come over into the ditch and shoot me. Destroy the scud launcher. Let's take them all out. There you go. Detonate. Kaboom. Job done. So this mission is very open. I could get around in vehicles, but my main objective was to destroy three huge missiles. But I also had plenty of other mini objectives, like taking out enemy camps and destroying SAM sites. So I decided to complete everything on the map, which turned out to be a pretty good decision. I've got sniper, but I don't think it's suppressed, unfortunately. That's a trap, I think. Get rid of that. There you go. Enemy camp clear, one of four. Alright. Let's take out this SAM site. Remember if we can take all of them out. We'll get some air support. Jeez, I'm eating invisible walls there. Like the side of the mountain. Yeah, I'm hitting like the side of the wall. The hitbox on the mountain is ridiculous. Boom. Get intel from the scouts. One of three. Ooh, a suppressed sniper. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, fella. That will come in handy. Always, like, marked them for me as well. That's pretty cool. All right, let's start taking them out. Freaking easy peasy with the scout information and the suppressed sniper. Look at that. Easy work. Assuming that's all of them. Oh, no, it's definitely not all of them. See a bunch more down there. I still got my camera though, ain't I? Can I mark them Far Cry style? Ah, boom! That buys good. Oh shit, they got an APC. I do have C4 though. Keep it up. Down. That's risky. Guessing that APC is going to come down this road here. If it comes down this road, I'm just going to put some C4 there on the ground and wait for it to come over. Yeah, it's coming round. Wait for it to run over that and then... Kaboom. Perfect. Scud number two. Oh, there's the uh, rescue team. We got you, fellas. We got you. Backup has arrived. Alright, that's the lot. Let's get them. Let's get them to safety. Call in an airstrike. Okay, consider it done. Airstrike's coming in. Call in air support. Let's do it. Oh, we got a stealth bomber. Alright, let's take out that APC. Oh, we might be able to take two out with one shot. Hell yeah, I think we did. Nope, we're clear. Nice. Oh, we got a stealth bomber. Well, use that on the final area. Use the mortar. Nice. Ooh, a trophy as well. Destructive Wake. Get five or more kills with a single score streak in campaign. Beautiful. Heading back to the main base, I was able to call in a little help. I'm calling it in. Oh my god. Chopper gonna time. <laughs> there we go. It's over for you suckers. You've got no chance. All you want some? Come on then. Got bullets for the lot of you. With the base safe, 
it was time to take on the third and final missile. And last objective on the map. There's our final scout. Oh, look at the view from up here. Yep, thank you. All right, we got to destroy that. Lucky for us, we've been going around the map, so I've got loads of powerful shit. So first, I'm going to use a stealth bomber. Looks like there's a lot of strong enemies up there as well, so this is going to be perfect. Stealth bomber, straight on top of them all, all of them. It should do uh, a lot of damage. Boom. And then I'm going to equip the chopper gunner. I'm going to call this sucker in as well. Even got them all marked as well, so it's even easier to see them. Got a big fella there with a Gatling gun. Look at this, beautifully done. Let's take the big guy out. There we go. Call in on that, destroy it. Beautiful. Trophy as well. Full clear. In hunting season, complete every POI on the TAC map. We're heading to the palace, the cradle. Jesus. Really? He just like forced me out of the vehicle and it just instantly got melted. It's an invisible wall there, man. Come on. Bro, what am I supposed to do when it spawns me in the middle of the bloody road with 50 people shooting me? I don't know why the game would literally force me out of the vehicle right in front of like 40 enemies, it's so dumb. I mean, even just jump me out the other side of the vehicle for crying out loud. What do I do there, man? This is so dumb. Oh my God. I literally don't even get to aim my gun sometimes. What trash design is this shit? We thought it was a good idea to fucking throw your character out in the middle of the fucking road with about 10 people looking at him. I can't even like throw a grenade or anything to like pre-fucking get ready. Oh my god. I actually made progress. Right, please do not die because I don't want to have to do that shit again. Right, I'm spawning my helo. Suck on this. Oh, at least I've still got my stealth bombers and everything. That makes it a little bit easier at least. Uh, I'm just going to slowly crawl here because I really do not want to die because I ain't got a checkpoint. So I'd have to do that section again. And I do not fancy it. Dude! I don't know if I got a checkpoint. Oh my god, I got a checkpoint. Thank god for that. I was just about to scream if I didn't have a checkpoint there and I had to do that intro thing again. After dying what felt like 50 times, I made it into the palace vault and retrieved what I came for. That's a lot of gold. And a little bit of money. Open the case. Ooh, what's this? I'm gonna make some zombies. Alright, looks like shit's going down. We got what we came for. Let's leave. Well, it looks like we gotta make a stand. Get rid of the choppers. There's one. There's two. Call in some artillery. Whoa, right, we got a checkpoint. Uh oh, more choppers. Reload, reload! Where's the other one? That's another one. Oh, they're picking us up. Let's get the hell out of here. Get in, boys! Let's move. I love how they can hit me with the rockets. Perfect. As a little person, but. They can't hit a giant freaking chopper. And another trophy. Bunker Busters. Back at the safe house, I had money to spend. So I bought a few upgrades. I then quickly started up the next mission called Emergence, which had something a little bit different in store for me. We got a mask. Looks like we're going down. I feel like I'm playing Metro or something right now. No, oh, brilliant. Well, that mask lasted us all of 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm alive, bro. I'll meet you up there. Find a tool to open the door. Oh, there we go. Is it a little axe? I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, Jesus. Damn, we're getting some creepy shit going on. Alright, we're in. Got myself a hatchet. I mean, this place just fancy. I'm gonna start getting attacked by zombies. This is huge. 
Oh, here we go. Does the lift work? Restricted? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hell no. Whoa. Oh, I think I messed up. Oh my god, we're getting attacked by zombies. Okay. This escalated. I'm here for it though. My man is tripping balls right now. Oh, the phone. Who's ringing? Okay, I'm answering it. I ain't no patient, mate. Let me in. Oh, what, we need key cards? We need four key cards. Yo, I'm digging this. This is so different. All right, we're going into the advanced combat research area. All right, we got a weird, creepy room with a computer in the middle. Lift on. Oh, we're going down. We got more zombies to kill. Ooh, we got a gun. Oh, there's my first key card. All the way up there. How the hell do I get up there, though? Well, grappling hook. Uh, what the hell is going on? I don't even feel like I'm playing Call of Duty right now. Okay, I th think we're in for a fight. Wait, did I die? Wait, I died. What? Oh, here we go. I was supposed to escape with the grappling hook. Ah, cool. All right, sucker, you're down there and I'm up here. Oh God, it's lowering. Oh, sugar. Right, we got a boss fight. Yo, this is so cool. What the hell? Wait, where did it go? Oh, I don't know, but it's sending a bunch of zombies after me. Oh shit, that hurts. Doesn't like the grenades though. That did a ton of damage. I can't like, grapple the zombies over to me, look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's freaking cool. Oh, big man's back. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Give me my bloody key card. That's only one key card out of four though. We can grapple back up. Right, up we go. Right, here we are, administration. I imagine this is where we're gonna get our second key card. There it is. It's locked. Wait, give him something and he'll give us a key card in return. Place. Oh, we gotta find four missing reports. Okay, I've seen a couple of these already. I saw a couple of them, I tried grabbing them. I had a feeling we'd need them. Oh God. I don't think they're happy about me taking the, those reports. Freaking mannequins are stalking me, bro. Stop following me. Leave me alone. Right, oh, there's the last one. Right, I've got all four. Now I've just got to place them before I get ripped apart by these bloody mannequins. All right, let's pop them in quick time. There we go. And uh, last one. Oh, it just slapped me in the ass. <laughs> Whoa. Bro, I thought we was trading. Rude. I just went and grabbed all those for you. Get here, you little turd. Do I have to, like, melee attack him or something? Try the gra grapple hook? That's what I was just using. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think we're good. Oh, Jesus, he just transformed. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. All right, let's mow him down. Okay, he's not got too much health. We should be okay here. Yeah. Let's ding a grenade off his head. Some nice damage. Ooh, I don't want him to get close, though. Beautiful. We got him. That's key card number two. What is this? Prey? Take key card. It's not going to be that easy, is it? Nope. How you doing, fella? All right. Boss number three. Grapple look down there. Yeah, that's the way to go. Wail on it, and then grapple away. Wait, he's hiding again. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was bad, that was bad. Get out of here. I'm guessing he can, yep. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna go hide again. Yep, yeah, he's hiding. All right, we got him. One more to go. This mission is ridiculously cool. It looks like that's our next place. Cognitive research. Oh, what the frick? What the hell is that? That's my key card. Yo, yo, just coming for a for a swim with my best buddy. Initiate drain. One, two, and three. Oh, we've got 25 seconds. I don't even know where the third one was. My guess is over there. It's the only place I haven't been. Yep, there it is. Override. Boom. That's all three. All right, now it's draining. Now we're going to have to go out there and fight the big fella. Yep, that definitely sounds like he uh, wants to fight. Where is he? Take key card. 
There he is. How are you doing, fella? I don't know why you're so pissed. I just let you out. I thought we could be friends. we got cover here. Oh, he's quick. Oh, he's very quick. Wait, is he doing some, like... Oh, I think the water's, like... Every now and again, I think it's let, letting off, like, a shock wave. If I can get him down there when the shock triggers... I'll probably be able to do some, like, decent damage. All right, we're more than halfway there. Power surge in imminent. All right, so if I drop down, get him to come down. Two, one. Where we go? Go up. Is that going to hit him? Oh, it's, like, stunned him. Oh, nice. Yeah, it, like, stunned him for a few seconds. All right, we almost got him. Oh, I thought that was going to block it. Boom, there we go. We got him. That's the fourth and final key card. Oh, Jesus. That scared me. Of course, they weren't going to let me insert the key cards that easy. What the hell? Did they all just turn into wads then? There we go. Pop the last one in. Biotechnology is opening up now. We can take the lift. Hurry up, lift. Thank you. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, brilliant. The final one. Oh, I think that was the one that, like, shit me up earlier. One last zombie to defeat. Well, I say one last. There's about 100. <laughs> Let's go. It's just me and you, mate. It's me and you. Oh, we almost got him. Should be able to finish him off here. There we go. We got him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, is it my team? Okay, I think we're good. Beautiful. Head games. It's another mission complete. We're at a casino. We're about to pull off a heist. Oh, is that VIP? Okay, well, uh, I'll see you soon then. There we go. Some cards so we can cheat a little bit. Now we're going to play some high stakes poker. Okay, so we need to win this to get to the high roller. What's up, fellas? Just here to play a little bit of poker. Oh, alright, let's just transition to uh, case in the sewers. Okay, so to access the security camera systems, I need to... I think this is the first one. Alright, that's the last one. So now I need to go into the casino, get caught. Yep, you take me to your private room. There we got Jack and five. There's two. Two J's there, mate. We're good. What? He got a straight? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, full house. Uh, boom. GG's, buddy. The card is mine. All right, we're off to the high roller lounge. How you doing, mate? I told you I'd be back. There you go. Thank you. Place a scrambler on the slot machine. Okay. There we go. Trigger the jackpot. Everyone's getting jackpots. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Felix is in. All right. Steal the key card. There we go. That is mine. We can access the server room. Reset the server. Yeah, look at this place. We got every gun under the sun. There's my crew. Jesus, Felix. Damn, brother. Let's put some C4 on that sucker. Alright, we got to be quick. Detonate. Quab. Boom! Oh, he's trapped some C4 on it. Nice. Boom. Suckers. Moments before. Oh, yeah, we got captured on purpose, didn't we? They took us down here. Fortunately for me, my man's a master of unlocking. Back up has arrived. All right, let's lock pick this sucker. There we go. Some documents. All right, we're all back together. Now we're leaving. Oh, that's the shield, fellas. 
Let's get some grenades out there. Alright, definitely damaged them a bit. Let's get some more out. Alright, I think one's done. That's two. Bloody hell. Have some grenades, you little shit. I don't even know if that hit him. Ooh, that hurts. Alright, I think we got him. Get out of here, mate. We're jumping on the boat. Boom, just like that. Jackpot. Another mission in the bag. It was time for the mission ground control. Move, move, move. Thank you for the drop off, fellas. Alright, capture Gusev. Enter the airport terminal. We're we rocking a C9 and a sniper. Alright, yeah, well, there's the airport. Airstrike definitely went to town on this place. Oops, snipers. Okay, snipers, where are they at? Oh, crap, the firing mortars as well. Sniper's done. Let's take the mortars out. That's one. Two. Another guy there. There we go. Boom. Boom. Oof. I didn't think they'd hit me from that far away. Some lot of enemies. Nah, we ain't sneaking past boys. We're going loud. Oops, someone's dropping grenades and some smokes. Oh, Jesus. Oh my days. Move Sims. I'm trying to snipe. Jesus. I just took that to the face like a champ. Not that one. <laughs> How many times have we died now? 38? They're not bad. Right, I need to get rid of this RPG guy. It's getting on my nerves. Come on, pop up. Right, RPG guy gone. Is that it? Are we good? Clear? Cool, cool. Let's go. What do you mean me do the honors? You do it. I just ran off so you could open it. Alright, oh, grenade. Bro, they need to chill with these grenades. Like, honestly, it's rolling right to me, bro. What the f... Like a magnet, that thing, then. Oh my god, another one? Oh, I can hit him from all the way over here. They look nice. Oh shit! Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, I need to back up. Oh, what the f hell are they? Am I flammable? I'm so screwed. Spam grenades. Oh shit, we got one of those freaking Gatling gun dudes. The juggernaut. He's almost dead though. Let's see if I can. There we go. Got him. Board is playing. Oh shit, there's one of those dudes in there with the freaking RCXDs. Let's see if I can stun him. Otherwise, he's, he's gonna just keep spawning. Uh, no, he just spawns unlimited and it's fucking stupid. I need to get up there and... Take down. Boom. Get out of here, bitch. Boom. That was satisfying. Open cockpit. There's no one here. Damn, that guy's crispy. Oh, Jesus. Getting in the tank? Oh, hell yeah. 
Oh, y'all screwed now. Oh my god, I just mowing them all down. I got no chance. Squishes. <laughs> Coming through. Oh, shit. It's Boom! That's gotta be a hit, right? Oh, hell yeah. You ain't going nowhere, mate. He's going in that blade, mate. Yeah, you might want to chat, mate, because uh, I don't think it's going to end well otherwise. Oh, he's going to tell us where the weapon is. Do tell. The Russian prison camp. Mission successful. We know where we're going. Mission complete. Grounded. Just taking us straight to the next mission. Under the radar. Inside the perimeter already. Infiltrating the Russian camp. Take the skeezer down. Nice and easy. Stole his clothes. Now I'll lock the part. How's it going, man? Morning. Morning. Good morning. Not for me, it isn't. Can't wait to get out of here. Thought this was a three day assignment, not a week. Oh. Looks like you got the shot end of the stick. Discover how to sabotage the attack helicopter. Oh, is this where I can plant the bomb on this? Yeah, so I can plant explosives on that. Right, hopefully no one sees me. Find a sucker to load it. Oh, we already know it's this geezer. Use the security station to locate the cradle. I'll take it. Might as well take that suppressed pistol as well. I think I need to... Do I need to take this geezer out? I think I do. Night, night. Alright, so the weapon isn't here, unfortunately. I did already plant all the explosives, though, so... Are we at least going to blow this place up? We're not leaving empty-handed. We this place. There we go, wreck the place. That's what we're talking about. Oh, they're coming in. Hell yeah. Oh, whoa, am I flying it? Okay. Here we go. Can never go wrong with a, a good Call of Duty set piece, you know? Alright, this set of Sam off. There goes the chopper. My plan's working flawlessly. Yeah, love to see it. Oh god, I'm getting damaged by something. Jesus, how are they hitting me from down there? Time for some ground combat. Wait, what's that? A homing knife? Explosive knife that can be charged, thrown, and steered remotely? What the hell? It's like Batman's Batarang or something. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm gonna have to give that a try. What else have we got? Proximity stun device. Adrenaline. Slows your perception of time and fully heals. Shit, I didn't even know about all these things. I've never not even been using any of it. Oh, this might even be a perfect opportunity to do it, actually. So if I can steer it, if I can control it, can I just like... How do I... Oh, I've got to charge it. Charge. Oh my god, check that out. That's freaking cool. Oh my god. I'm going to be able to just blow all these guys up. That is cool. Definitely need to be using that more often. We've got adrenaline stim as well. I'm going to try this. So it heals me. And then we go in slow-mo. Oh my god. Why have I not been using any of these abilities? Jesus, you can throw this thing so far. That's ridiculous. I'm going to get these two suckers. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got a trophy for it. Seek and destroy. Get two kills with a single remote controlled throwing knife from at least 50 meters away. We're going in. I love this slow-mo. It's like freaking Max Payne. Oh, we made it into the underground lab. Oh, brilliant. Charge. Uh, whoop. Boom. Yo, that is beautiful, that thing. I wish I was using that earlier. It's so good. Going to town on these guys. Oh, we got another trophy. Rapid reflexes. What's this? Get five headshot kills during a single use of adrenaline stim. I'm setting traps for me. They're a bit obvious, though, aren't they? The glowing blue and the beeping. Y'all have got no chance now I know about this stim thing. Oh, hello. Oh, someone just flashed him. Go on, Sev. Get her. Oh, another mission in the bag. Consolation prize. All right, so we found a device in a forearm. We're guessing it's a tracking device. Sounds about right. So I think, yeah, we're fortifying the uh, the safe house, and I think we're about to try and defend it. Hello, Harrow. Five and a half. Damn. Sick burn. I mean, you're not even one, bro. You're more handicapped than he is right now. Injecting her with a serum. Hopefully that's going to get her to uh, spill the beans. This is going to be a trippy-ass mission. Reveal Pantheon's plans. All right, so something's going on with the mirror. I've got to collect these shards of the mirror to fix it. So to get the shard, I need to do some kind of get three numbers. 
in the order, so desk, scouts, tea party. Complete the scavenger hunt. So this is the tea party. They came for team friendly Count chat. The Count the guests and double that. So one, two, three, four. So tea party is eight. Tragedy. Tea party is the last number, so eight. Well, it looks like we've got our next one. Looks like desks around, so what does it say? Working, Working hard, hard wanting, wanting more, more. always seek the highest, highest score. score. So nine? Desk, I think, is nine. So this is the campsite. All Count them all and let's begin. Trophies minus badges will get the win. Badges, five. Trophies, so one, two, three, four, five, six trophies minus the badges, so one. There we go. Hopefully we haven't faffed anything up. Yep, there we go. Nine, one, eight. I feel like that number seems very familiar. Toggle flashlight. Damn, it's dark in here. Three pieces of armor. Oh, there's my shard, and I missed it. We're definitely yes. about to get attacked by zombies, aren't we? Alright, lifter's got no power. Power up all the generators. Okay. That's the first of four generators. Alright, oh god. Yep, we got the zombies inbound. Oh my god, what the hell? It's just turned into a horror game. I can just constantly keep hearing things clattering around. It's creeping me out. Are the mannequins following me again? Nah, bro, stop. Go away. Jesus. Oh, nice. This is the last generator. I need, need to uh, power up for the lift. Let's power this sucker up. Get me out of here. Up we go. There's our second shard piece. Let's place shard number two. After grabbing the second shard, the dream state was over for now, but it was now time to make a stand. I took out tons of enemies until their APC arrived. Wait, didn't I get an RC car? Hold up, fellas. I've got just the thing. Look at this. They got no chance. Boom! Oh, it didn't even work. I'm sending another. Move, Felix. Oh, it still didn't work, right? That doesn't work. Plan B. More. That'll do it. Did it? Oh my god, it's still... Gee, what's this thing made out of? Alright, give me the rocket. So here we go. With that, I was back in the dream. But well, I guess it's more of a nightmare. Oh god, we're timed. A bit of parkour. What's this? A gun. Yo, rude. I'm on a timer here, if you don't mind. Oh, there's no chance. Way too slow. Do I keep the... Oh, I keep the grappling hook, though. So I can use the grapple look now to, to get around even faster. Just Keep getting killed though by these fuckers. How irritating is this? Holy shit. Go, go, go. I keep getting killed, man. They kill you so fast. This is it. So annoying, bro. Holy shit. Oh, I don't even have to reload. That's good to know. I'm going to lose my shit. This is pissing, really pissing me off. Can I make it? Oh my god, finally. That was so goddamn annoying. Yo, can, can you not with that glass, please? Thank you. Bye. Oh, brilliant. We got more zombies. Ooh, a shot here. Boosh! Boosh! Come on, suckers! Oh my god, there's loads of them. Oh, got unlimited ammo, at least. The shotgun's a beast. Alright, I think we got him. Oh, nope, more. We got an LMG this time. Jesus, that muzzle flash is insane. It's almost as bad as the muzzle flash on the uh, that big-ass LMG weapon thing from Aliens. Yeah, are we good? Are we done? Can I have my final uh, 
Shard piece? There we go. Oh, that just to fix a bloody mirror. Oh, shit. We're back at checkmate. We're being invaded still. Oh, my God. Yo, let me get rid of that chopper. Ow. All right, chopper's done. It's going to land on his... Oh, shh. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, we've got to defend the bridge. I defend Adler while... Or Felix while he gets to the bridge. All right, he's going to blow it up so... Uh, so no more can get across. Do I have any mortar left? I do. Boom. Yeah, let's pop one of those adrenaline things. Slow-mo. Here we go. Boom. The freaking sniper's bouncing all over the plate. Come on, mate. We'll blow it up in a second. Oh shit, there's another freaking APC. Now might be the time to blow it up, mate. Did I lose some toes there or something? That's, uh... <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. What the hell? Oh, chopper. Hell no. Boom. Get the hell out of my way. Coming through. Gee, I'm getting shot in the ass. Oh, and I'm dead. Right, I think I've just got to, like, run straight away. Just go. Go, 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 go. Run. Did I make it? Uh, I feel like we're good. Damn, that's some piloting skills right there. Holy shit. Capital punishment. What's just said we've got one more card to play, so this could be the final mission. What's is going to town on him? Shoot him in the toes, bro. Shoot him in the toes. You serious? All that and we're still going to lose. Woods is screwed, mate. We need to get back over there. Rescue Woods. Woods is alive. He's taking care of Woods. There she is. Take the shot. Oh, my lord. I mean, we hit her. Can't let her get away. All right. I've got my sniper, bro. I'm good. I'm on it. All right, I'm going to have to be quicker. Boom, one tap. Boom, one tap. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh, we're coming up. You ain't closing nothing, mate. We should head Oh, brilliant. You just shot the pilot, you tit. Oh, wow, we're actually alive. Where do you think you're going? I mean, we were made by the cradle, though, so we're being told to do this. We probably can't even help it. What the hell? All right, so we choked her out two weeks later. So we got rid of Harrow, but not Pantheon. So basically, the mission's not even complete. Boom, buried at sea. Complete checkmate in campaign, and then I'd imagine, case closed. Complete the campaign on any difficulty, and one more, case in point. Complete the campaign on veteran difficulty. All right, so it seems we need five more trophies to do with a single player, so we, the first one I'm gonna grab is in Under the Radar. All right, here we are in the mission, so we need to get the Sam thing to target itself and the helicopter. I'm gonna take this geezer out. And then I'm going to hack the computer. So this is the Samsite computer. So I can reprogram it. All right, Orion target. Computer hacked. Now I need to... There we go. Target Samsite to itself and the helicopter. Here we are. We're heading into the thing. So now the Sam should blow up the chopper for us. Yep, there we go. And itself. Skewer the winged beast. Next trophy, I'm going to be going into ground control. And this is why we came into this mission. Because I need to run over 25 enemies. So let's start squishing them. How do I know how many I've run over? Oh, there we go. Bulldozed. We got it. And the last trophy that's actually in missions is in checkmate. Here we are. So this trophy, I actually almost got it. What I need to do is I need to destroy that APC that we was facing last time with a RCXD. Here comes the APC. There we go. David versus Goliath. The final two trophies that I need for single player are both at the 
uh, safe house. I need to get all of the unlocks, so I might need a little bit more money. The second one is I need to unlock the secrets or something at the safe house. So we're going to do that one. There's eight puzzles all together that I need to complete. I'll also get an extra 1,000 coins when I complete them all. That hopefully will get me enough money to also do the upgrades. I messed around with the boiler, used a light on the piano, revealing some symbols, searched for them on the walls, and then pressed the correct keys. That opened a secret door leading into the basement. I used the light again to reveal which numbers to press on this keypad. I hacked a computer, lock picked a door, finding a key inside, used it to unlock another room. Inside, tuned a radio that told me certain areas of the room, revealing numbers that I would need to open the safe upstairs. What was it? Three, three, one, seven, six. I feel like the number that's wrong is probably the seven. Yep, there we go, it's nine. The puzzles, Mason. What do they mean? I don't know, but I got a blueprint for a knife and another 1,000 cash. Hopefully with that cash, I won't have to replay any levels. Let's see if we can afford the rest of them. All right, get that one, get that one, and that one. I'm missing one. So I need only 480. Let's go replay probably one mission. Quick fix. Yep, there it is. Dipped in gold. Purchase all safe house and player upgrades in the campaign, which means I'm now completely done with the campaign. So I'll be jumping between the multiplayer and zombies. The first thing I did was jump into the training course. Wait, I can sneak up to enemies and grab them? Yo, that's cool. Can I do this online? Is that something you can actually do against real players? That's actually pretty sick. Oh, then we can eliminate them as well. <laughs> oh, we got a bonus tutorial. Emote training, really. Learn how to use emotes. I don't care about emotes. Right, there we go. I did an emote. Oh, got a trophy as well. Training complete. Doing your part. I then played my first few matches and eliminated 75 enemies while using a combat speciality perk. Oh, I got a trophy. Stylish kill. A couple of matches later, I got this. Hey, red carpet. Get featured in the best play three times in multiplayer. Let's have a look what we got. Oof. This is an LMG as well with no attachments. Not bad, I'll take it. With that done, I loaded up the zombies mode. This was where I would spend the most time, mainly because of one trophy. I will also have to complete the Easter eggs on both the Liberty Falls and Terminus map, but more on that later. For now, I killed my 100th enemy while using the mutant injection. Do I have like any other abilities or is it just the... Oh, I got a trophy to know your enemy. I continued playing zombies, leveling up, earning camos and researching augments. More on this torturous bronze trophy soon. I did now, however, feel familiar enough with the first zombies map, Liberty Falls, to attempt the Easter eggs and get all three trophies. For the first one, I had to shoot five pairs of bowling shoes scattered around the map. That would then teleport me into the bowling alley where zombies were dancing, very random. And I would need to use the bowling ball to knock out zombies and earn a high score of 300. This turned out to be a lot more difficult than I expected. On my first try, I got a score of 250, meaning I would have to do this again. And at the time, I thought I could only attempt this Easter egg once per run. So for now, I decided to focus on the other two Easter eggs. And while doing it, I unlocked Show Off for earning a mastery badge with any weapon. That basically means getting around 3,000 zombie kills. Ooh, show off. But now, back to the easter egg. These zombies busted out of a room, and inside was a table. This is where I would build a special weapon once I had all the parts. Which, right now, I don't. So we'll come back. You remember that bowl in easter egg? Well, I found out that after you fail, Every five or so rounds, if you go up to this window in the bowling alley, you'll find another set of bowling shoes in the toilet that you can shoot, giving you another go. But I failed again. I arrived at a church, interacted with this machine, and I was told to fix it basically, but how? He wouldn't tell me. But thankfully, the internet would. So looking online, 
I found a guide. He told me to go kill zombies in the cemetery until this guy spawned. There he is, groundkeeper. Right, so he should have dropped a gold key. Yeah, tool shed key. That's what we need. There we go, the shed's open. I grabbed the item inside, grabbed this valve, and ran over to the bowling alley. Smacked this panel and popped on the valve. I now had to stand next to it and turn the valve until the meter was full. A lot harder than it sounds, since I was playing solo, so I had no one to watch my back while I was doing it, which, while I was doing it, wasn't able to shoot or defend myself. After a while, I filled it up. Jesus, that was difficult. But we are far from done. Now I needed to kill a mangler. That's that big guy I turned into earlier when he unlocked the trophy. By shooting his arm, he'll drop his weapon. With it, I'm able to blow open this gate, go inside and find some electric cables. With all the items, I can now head back to that room where the zombies busted out and craft myself a nice new wonder weapon. Here we are. Let's craft it. Oh, I'll gotta hold it for a while. Oh god. Craft, craft, craft. There we go. Give me that sucker. Alright, I had to drop one of my weapons for it though. But I've now got the big guy. This is important for the main easter egg and another trophy I'm gonna do next. Alright, so now that I've got this big boy as well, I can also do the other trophy in this map, which I saw this like on one of my first playthroughs and I thought, that looks like it's important. And it turns out it is. I need to uh, suck it up. Yep, just like that. Alright, I think I sucked it up. I also sucked up a zombie by mistake. Don't want to kill the other one, though. That's number two. That's number three. Damn, I killed the zombie. Oops. And there's another one up here. I'll grab that one. And then there's another one here. Grab that one. Now we got another one up there. Alright, next one is just behind that vent thing there. That should be it right there, I think. Yep, there we go. I don't know if I dropped that because I got shot. Uh, I think we got it. And then the last one is uh, actually on top of here, on the church. But apparently, it's going to be useful to save that one for last. For an upcoming uh, little battle that we'll be doing shortly. But now, I'm going to continue with the main easter egg. So I need to come in here. And then we need to grab this. The next one, I need to jump on it here. There we go. And then I need to beam it through the window. Please get out of my way, big guy. And then the third one is in here. Uh, there. Grab that one. That's all three. Now I need to interact again with the machine. I think I should be able to craft it now. Yep, there we go. Assembling LTG device. There we go. Grab that. So now I should be able to grab a canister. There we go. And I've got to drop it here. And then interact with this. And now I've got to defend this for one minute. And try not to fail. Easier said than done. Definitely would have been easier if I was on a lower round. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, looks like we're successful. That wasn't too hard actually. That was pretty easy. There we go. Now I'll pick it up and bring it along with the enemy over to the trap. Drop the canister near it, activate it, and kill the red mangler while he's in the trap. Alright, so now I need to get it, and I need to hurry up because I've only got a minute and twenty to get back to the church and drop it in there. I've popped that in there now, that's good. Pick up the Strauss counter or something it was called. First one's here. That dude's a nine. Right, so I've got to do this. So that's green. So I have to set this to red there we go second one is here so that's yellow so if it's yellow we set it to yellow there we go all right here's the third one so that's red which means we need to set it to green and that should be all of them right okay seems like it was correct beautiful oh yeah we can see some weird three beams of light that's what we want so now i can grab that canister again can't really move fast with it, which is unfortunate. And just like before, I need to put it under one of these clouds. There we go. So now I need to defend for another minute. All right, so now we got the next boss that we need to kill. Just like before, though, I need to kill it inside the trap. 
Alright, so as long as he's in the trap, we should be good. Yep, now I've got to try not to die. And get this thing back up there. Alright, so it's almost time to defend. So what I'm going to do is, if you remember from earlier, I said I was going to suck this one in at the end. Like that, because that's going to do this. That's going to turn me into that. It's going to give me the world domination trophy. And I'm invincible right now, so I'm actually trying to get into the boss area to start the fight. Yep, so if I activate it... Alright, I've run out. Luckily, I do have Pack a Punch 3, Legendary, and I've got tons of perks. If I can get a couple more thousand points as well, I can get it to level 3. Ooh, this is crazy. Right, I think that could be the boss now. Maybe he's the last one, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm getting trapped. I do have a self-revive as well, which will uh, definitely help. I'm going to pop a insta-kill. I'm going to mow this guy. Oh, this is rough. Damn, I went down. That's not good. That's really bad because I've also lost like three perks. Right, I can tier three of this. Right, I need to make sure I don't let the ammo go to zero because you kind of get locked for a little bit. This is actually crazy. I mean, again, probably doesn't help that I'm uh, I'm on round bloody 30. Alright, that's the second one done. Or the third one, I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. Wait, is that supposed to happen? Oh my god, we did it! Bye-bye, Dark Ether. Oh, hell yeah, we did it. That means I've only got one more trophy to get on this map, which is that bloody bowling one which I've failed about 15 times. Wait, what's this? Choose to continue playing the match with a special reward or exit the match and see your after action report. I wanna see what my special reward is. Is that my reward, a free pack a punch? Oh, there's loads of stuff. Oh my God, look at all this. Oh my God. What the hell? And it's just gonna be loads of like legendary weapons. Ooh, and the ray gun. Hell yeah. Give me that thing. Whoa, zombies get out of my way. I'm trying to look at my, re my rewards. Oh, what the hell? I wanted to try the ray gun. God damn it. You will respawn next round. What does it mean I'll respawn? Why, why would I respawn next round? Uh, is this a glitch? Since I played tons of zombies, I took a break and played a little more multiplayer. Earning the pale horse arrives for eliminating 500 enemies. Ooh, my trophy, the pale horse arrives, 500 kills. And since I'd reached level 51, I kept it in the back of my mind that I needed to go back to multiplayer because I'd unlocked the sleeper agent ability, which I would need to use to disguise myself, grab this enemy from behind and unlock the betrayal trophy. I continued playing and I had the RCXD equipped. And after way too many failed attempts to count, I finally managed to get a double kill. Yes, finally, let's go. And this whole time while I was playing online, I was shooting down enemy UAVs and counter UAVs. Because if I could shoot down 50 with a rocket launcher, I'd get the heavy ordnance specialist trophy. For me though, it felt like I shot down about 200. So I was, pretty happy to be done with this. Especially considering how fast this game is in multiplayer. Half of the time before I'd even finished locking on, I'd be shot in the back, or maybe someone else was going for the trophy as well. And that left only one more multiplayer trophy. But I'd played enough. With the horrible spawns and players seemingly knowing exactly where I was at all times, I just didn't really enjoy the multiplayer. So I wanted to get back into the zombies. And after not too long, I'd reached the max level of 55 and entered Prestige 1 for Return of the King. Ooh, I can Prestige. I sent a Prestige 1. There we go, Return of the King. Continuing the grind, I'd earned the old pole camo for the LMGs, getting me the camos a forever trophy. Honestly, this one didn't take nowhere near as long as I thought it was going to. And then not long after that, Annihilation for killing 100 elite zombies. This one did take a while, mainly because to my knowledge, the manglers don't count as elite zombies. The only ones that count as elites are the big three-headed dog enemy things. Ooh, trophy. Annihilation. 
but considering I'd have to play a lot more zombies, it didn't matter. At this point though, I was probably around 20 hours deep into zombies. But little did I know, I wasn't even halfway. I also tried again for that final trophy in the Liberty Falls map, where I needed to play bowling. Since I'd failed multiple times, I looked online for some tips. Apparently, it was much, much easier to do in co-op, so I gave it a go. Jesus, if I only need a score of 200 here on this co-op, this is way easier. Or 300 even. So I got a score of 400. Score of 450. Does that give me the trophy? Yeah, nice. There we go, Deadwood. That's way easier in co-op. I tried about 20 times solo and I could not get it. First try in co-op and I got it. That's crazy. Since I was killing zombies and ex villain over and over and over again, I wanted to break it up a little bit. So I decided now was a great time to go and get the other three trophies from the second zombies map called Terminus. I thought the Liberty Falls Easter eggs were hard. That was nothing compared to this one. This map is just way more difficult and getting all three of the trophies for this map took me over five hours. So let's begin. First, I had to power up three generators. I bought dead wire for my weapon. You'll see why in a moment. I took a quick swim to raise this lift out of the water. Spent 5k points to get Packer Punch level one and bought a cheeky juggernaut. I then used that dead wire to electrify these three panels. Then shot another two, opening this door. Inside, I smacked this body for an item, opened this briefcase for another, and then went back to the room with the body and popped the item in this computer. Now I needed to activate three letters in order. First was X, then Y, and then finally Z. I headed back to the room once again and had to figure out some code using the symbols on the computer and then figure out what the hell I was doing with the board in the background and I didn't understand what the hell was going on or what I was looking for. So, like almost probably everybody else, I cheated and looked online and found a website that would give me my code, which changes every time by the way. I also heard if you don't want to do that, you can just go over to the, the doctor and pay him like 5,000 and he'll give it to you or something, I don't know. With the correct numbers, I got a new item and a marker appeared on the map showing me where to go. It's about time the easter egg told me where to go. Wasting no time, I set sail on my new boat. Yes, you can drive boats on this map. Pretty crazy, I know. I landed on the small island where the marker told me to go and I noticed this blue orb. I interacted with it and it spawned a bunch of zombies, some of which would glow blue. Killing them gave me a smaller orb that I could then grab and pop into the bigger orb. Stay with me here. I then jumped back on my boat and did the same thing on other islands scattered around the map. I did this green one and then after almost dying many times, I completed the purple one. Jumping back on my boat, I returned to the main island again and crafted this absolutely beautiful looking weapon. Ooh, I can craft myself a beam smasher. Try not to get trapped by the bloody zombies though. Beautiful. I pack a punch my main weapon to level two and look for a card under a door with a trap. After finally finding it, I activated the nasty ass thing for 750 points and shot it with my new weapon. It pooped out some hard drive thing because of course it did and I took it to the doctor. You remember the guy who I could pay? Well I didn't pay him but I did need him now though. So I popped the hard drive in his little bucket thing. He's just sat there behind his thing like an absolute sausage. Doesn't really even help killing zombies but you know whatever. So he does whatever the hell he does. So I go and I find this geezer stuck in whatever the hell this is. Unfortunately though, it's locked. To get the code, I had to run around the map once again, looking at different things. First was looking at this clock. Then I ran over to the kitchen, checking this card on the board. And then for the final number, I had to look at this days since last injury sign. Now I had all three of the numbers I needed. How people knew where to look for these, I honestly have no idea. I'm just following a guide. I input 734 and let the poor sod out. Was that a good idea? <laughs> what do you think? Wait, is this guy a boss? Did I just let him out and now he's gonna... The hell? Hell no. Screw you, Nathan. I just tried helping you. 
Take that bitch. Oh shit, it doesn't even affect him. Almost got him. Oh, I think we got him. GG Nathan. I'm kind of sorry though. The tune was pretty badass though, I'll give it that. Damn, he did. Oh shit, just threw me back in. It's not the end. Oh, right, well, there's his body. I think he's supposed to have dropped something, but I need to get rid of these zombies. It's too many. The hardest thing I swear about doing like zombies Easter eggs solo is just that you've got no one to help you uh, take care of the one zombie. So you're like trying to look at the steps to the next part of the Easter egg and you've just constantly got one zombie smacking you on the ass and it's not the good kind of smack on the ass, you know? Right, so it's meant to be under his body. So it fell, ah, oh, there it is. Fell in the water. Right, so there's also two other trophies on this map and I don't know if they're fully to do with the Easter eggs. So I'm gonna try and do the other two now. So I just shot that plush. I think we need to like go and shoot a load of plushes or something. Pick up the battery, and then I need to interact with this. I must have shot it at some point. Pick up some butter that was on top of the fridge. Pick up this soda. Pick up some oil or something. Okay, there we go. This is a weird Easter egg thing. Pick up this brain. Wait, now I have to kill a fish with a grenade and then interact with it? The hell? Uh, I don't see any fish. Oh, there we go, fish. So. Will that do it? Okay. Oh, did that work? I got mods. Is it this? I don't know what that is, but I don't know if that's what I need. Whoa, what the hell is that? Bro, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is radiation coming after me? I'm just looking for a fish, bro. I'm hungry. Right, well, I threw a grenade in the water. I thought I killed some fish, but I don't see a fish and I'm supposed to like interact with it or something. Right, at least that weird thing's gone. Right, uh, I guess I'm gonna need another grenade. Can I craft a grenade so I don't have to... Yeah, there we go. Let's craft a grenade. There we go. I think you just have to look for the bubbles. I mean, that's kind of what I did a second ago. But I was just looking at a video and you can actually see the fish. Is that it? Wait, why did the... Oh, why did the zombies just die, bro? Right. There we go, there's the fish. What do I do with it? Am I supposed to do something with it? Oh, it's not really letting me do anything. Oh, it doesn't disappear, you just hold square and it should work. Oh, well, since the game's lame and killed the freaking zombies for whatever reason, I'm gonna have to do another wave. Just like in Liberty Falls though, uh, Liberty Balls as some people like to call it, which I have to admit is a pretty good name. Obviously the higher rounds we get, I'd imagine the harder it's gonna be to actually finish this bloody thing. I'm on 19 at the minute, which is, it's not high, but I've heard the, uh, the boss at the end of this is actually quite difficult, especially in solo, so I do have to be really careful. And now with this, we've got to come back to the kitchen and put it all in a pan. So I think I've got to shove all the items that I've been grabbing, so like the oil, the fish, blah, blah, blah. I need to put it all in here without getting killed. That would probably be the best. Brain's going in, the, so the pop's going in. All right, I'm holding square and it's not letting me put anything else in, so I'd imagine it's all in there. So I think I actually need to end the round now to finish the cooking. Okay, let's do it. Really? When I pretend the target's ripped off me. All right, so that finished the round. So now I should be able to interact with it. Yep, there we go. Culinary delight. I don't know what that actually achieved. All right, that's one trophy down for this map. Two more to go. Right, so for this next trophy, I need to get the perk Mele Machito. Here's Mele Machito. There we go. And now a boxing god. I never even noticed that there. That's cool. Alright, so now I've got to come in here and smack this. Nice. And then I guess we've got to go and check out that part of the map. Back to the boat I go. Alright, so it didn't actually mark it on the map. I thought maybe it would mark it on the map for me, but it hasn't. But I know it was on the left side around here near one of these little islands. I think we've got to go for a swim. Oh, I think I see it actually. Is it that? Yep, there it is. A watch. All right, so now I've got to come back to it. All right, he's dismissed me. I think he said something about a coin collection. Oh God, so we got another three X's on the map now. Going on a bloody treasure hunt. Is it this? Dig? Don't think it's that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not really seeing anything that indicates where the coin would be. Right, so I had a look online. Apparently, I'm looking for a skeleton. All right, so there's the skeleton. Oh, so I need fire. All right, well, I've got one Molotov. All right, so if I throw a Molotov at it, 
Okay, that's definitely done something. So I think now I have to kill a special enemy. Yeah, there we go. So I have to defeat this boss. Which on round 21 is probably not going to be super easy. Alright, there we go. I wasn't too bad. Alright, so that's one gold coin. I still need two more, but I'm also going to have to go and craft two Molotovs. Let's craft two of those suckers. As long as I don't faff anything up, I shouldn't need any more. All right, there we go. I got the second one. I couldn't even find these. I was looking for these for so long. I just basically gave up and uh, looked online for the locations. The next enemy. The zombies keep bloody dying on me as I'm like looking around. All right, there we go. That's coin number two. Third final island. There it is. Let's throw Molotov down. Oh, I was worried then. I thought I missed it. All right, let's try not to get the zombies to go into the fire so they don't die. Now, boss man's here. So let's take care of him. This awkward like bluey purple view that I've got all over my screen I don't know what it is I'd imagine it's something to do with this like easter egg thing but it makes finding the uh, skeletons even harder than than it already is Jesus Christ this guy takes so many shots there we go boom beautiful third and final coin now let's go back to the uh, the captain uh, here you go fella got all three of your coins you're welcome now give me my bloody trophy Probably some perks or money or something, I don't know, just... Oh, wow. You give me three legendary guns. I mean, I can't take any of them because I've got my wonder weapon and my uh, shotgun. All right, so now I've done that. Looks like he's marked the bottom of the map, so I've got to go down there. Uh, I can upgrade this, this weapon as well to legendary. Let's do that because uh, I've just looked online. This is going to suck. To uh, finish this one, I've actually got to complete three whole rounds while I'm on that island at the bottom. I've definitely not made this easy on myself. It's a shame I don't have a tiny little bit more money. If I had a little bit more money, I'd be able to buy Packer Punch level three, which would uh, definitely make this next section a lot easier. Here we go. Let's try and survive three rounds. All right, so it says if you're doing it right, you can see lightning. So I guess that's what's going on right now. Jesus, I can't see. All right, yeah, it's getting pretty crazy now. So I think this is the last... I think this is the last Whoa! one I've got to survive. Holy shit, I almost died. Oh no, there it is. We got it, treasure hunter. Nice, I can get the hell off this island. What did it drop? Cursed talisman. I don't know what that does, but I'll take it, I suppose. So now we've done all that, I can finally continue with the main objective. Well, the main Easter egg. And I'm on round 27. That's not good. That is definitely not good. All right, well, note to self, don't take the talisman because every time you get hit, you lose loads and loads of money. I was like ridiculously close to being able to get pack a punch three. And because I've took some damage while trying to do the Easter egg, I'm down to 13k. So uh yeah, be careful when you pick up that talisman. We uh are gonna continue with the main Easter egg finally. We gotta go in here and climb this ladder and use the key card, I think. Is this too close? Alright, there we go. Can I go up now? There we go, we're in. Sweet. Now what? Oh my god. Why? Take. Connector node. Oh, we just started the next round as well. This isn't good. Wait, shit. Can I not transform? Cannot use? Oh no. Oh no. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. I, do I just survive? What's happening? Do we do it? Are we good? What? Drop node canister. I survived that. It opened up. And uh, I've got this node. There's two of them though. There's two like the nodes. But I need to go to find where to place them. Uh, there'll be some like pipes that they need to be placed on. There's two of them, but obviously I can only carry one at a time. Oh my god, I died, bro. Unreal, I've got to do the whole thing again. That sucks. Right, well, hopefully now I know what I'm doing, I can do it quicker. And uh, hopefully not at round, like, 27 with only a pack of punch two because I lost all my points. All right, here we go. There's the first one. All right, here's the next one. There we go. That's the two nodes repaired. Now I've got to grab the hacking device. Thank you very much. So I think I've got to hack these boys in the water. Well, considering we've got some enemies, I think we're in the right place. Here we go. Project Janus, Janus or something. All right. Act. Wait. Oh, God, I'm timed. This is the second one. Here we go. Second one hacking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, this is the last one. 
Does that remove the timer? Oh shit, the timer's still on. Oh no, it's done. Oh, okay. I guess that was successful. You might have also noticed I'm not losing ammo when I shoot. There's uh, this glitch where you can like trigger a gobble gun and then like as it's about to end, you can trigger it again and it'll kind of bug out and give you the gobble gun, but infinitely. So I've, uh, I've triggered that to try and make things uh, a little bit easier. Oh God, wait, what's going on now? We've got a five minute timer. What do I have to do now? Deactivate detonators? What's he on about? I've got to deactivate some some bombs. I've got five minutes to do it. Is this one? I'm guessing this is one. Wait, can I get attacked? Oh, that's crazy. I can be attacked? Wait, how am I supposed to do it if I'm just going to get bloody killed? Dude, how am I supposed to do this solo? That's crazy. I'm going to have to just keep running to different ones or something. Like, I can't even turn around while I'm diffusing it. Hopefully the diffuse thing doesn't go down if, like, when I move away from it. Right, well, we got three minutes left, so at least we get a decent amount of time, but that is kind of crazy, though, that it wants you to do that solo. That's kind of ridiculous. Does it infinitely spawn enemies as well, so I don't even get, like, a moment to breathe? Right, well, I forgot two minutes, and I think I've done one of them, maybe. Right, boom. That's, right, well, that's one done. That's two. Right, I've got two minutes to do the last one. We should be able to pull this off. Oh, I've not done anything on this last one. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, I risked it and it worked. What now is the timer gone? What does it want me to do now? Wait, I did it. Is that it? So what do we do now? Right, round 20. I think what I might try and do potentially is get another 9,000 points and then get in Pack-A-Punch tier three. Pack-A-Punch level three, beautiful. And then if I can get 4,000 more points, I can also get level 3 armor. So, there's my level 3 armor. I've also grabbed myself a chopper gunner. I have no idea if that's gonna really do much. Alright, I think we're about ready. I mean, I could get some other perks, but I'd imagine the further into the rounds I get, the harder it's gonna be, so... I think we're just gonna go for it. I think we've arrived. I think it's this. It's this room. Enter keypad. Start the final encounter. Here we go. We got a doctor in a weird submarine. Okay. I love how in the cutscene it's like the whole crew, but in reality it's just me on my own. Oh, she's about to get wiped out. Oh, she's... she is done. Oh my god, what is that monstrosity? Spam the orange points. High damage. We've also got zombies that are going to try and kill me, so that's always fun. Luckily though, I do have the unlimited ammo, so that's going to make things a hell of a lot easier. So my first attempt that one, I haven't really searched how properly, like how we do this. So all I know is there is some kind of move it can do that can like insta kill you. So I should probably look out for that. Um, I think it was when he, uh, he like does some blue orb above him or something when he does that. I need to move my ass. Right, so I think that's possibly phase one maybe. You can hide behind these as well, I think to avoid the slap moves when the health bar disappears i think we've just got to survive the waves all right phase two can i kill these annoying ass bloody things shooting at me i mean i can shoot them i don't know if i can kill them though right so his weak points is mouth on this one. Oh now he's got weak points on his arms i'm kind of like nervous to even use the chopper gunner in case it just like doesn't work the way i expect it to oh wait is immune oh okay phase two complete let's get rid of these buggers Stop him shooting at me. All right, there we go. That's them gone. I'm sure they'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> Came back with it in like two seconds. Right. That that move. So when he does that blue move, I'm supposed to jump in the water because apparently that's the only way I can survive it. Oh, what the hell? I think he still hit me with it. That sucks. Right. We can't get knocked again now. I don't know if I should use the chopper gunner or not. I'm chancing it. I'm chancing the chopper gunner. Please tell me this works. Mm, nope. I think he literally just destroyed it. Shit, it's doing that thing again. Right, I think he did it. I think I survived it. Oh my god, I'm so freaking lucky. Oh my god, he's doing it again. 
That's insane how often he does that. Has he done it? His hat. It's hard to tell if he's done the move or not. Oh my god, I think we've done it. Wow. Yo, my heart rate is through the roof right now. I thought I was going to die like four or five times there. Oh, that's crazy. Is that it? Please tell me we're done. My health was so low. Like ridiculously low. Oh my god, we've done it. No more modi. That was absolutely insane. Get out of jail, but not for free. And now for the utterly insane grind that is the Cyber Eyes trophy. For this, I had to fully research all augments for 10 items. And with it being a bronze trophy, you wouldn't expect it to take so long, but it does. This trophy isn't fun, and I was honestly just ready to give up. I felt defeated. All this for one trophy? Is it worth it? I'd been playing zombies at this point for probably around 30 hours, and I wasn't even halfway. Hell, I won't even get a platinum at the end of it, because I'm playing the PS5 version, and for whatever reason, Activision thought it was a good idea to just add it as DLC. So, no platinum. But then it happened. A double XP weekend. And since researching augments just requires XP, I can get it done in half the time. This is it. The thing I needed. A boost of motivation, so I wasted no time. Two days to get this thing done. I looked online for the fastest method and boom, even better. I found a glitch that would allow me to become invincible. I could then stand on this little platform here and just farm easy headshots, which means I can use different weapons. All of the weapon camos pretty much for zombies, the majority of them come from just getting headshots. Bonus XP. I did eight hours on Saturday and eight hours on Sunday. The most exciting weekend ever, am I right? But after 79 games, 51 hours, 2021 rounds survived, I had killed over 80,000 zombies, and my time with this mode came to a close. Oh my god, cyberized, I finally got it. That took me about 50 goddamn hours. It's a miracle. But I still had one more trophy. Win 25 multiplayer matches. Podium finish. My final trophy. On Black Ops 6. Oh my god, what was wrong with Steve's face right there? 